Sun Eater. Move on. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Pendulum's the best deck, bro. There's no way around it, man. Let's go. Pendulum best deck. Really think? You really think that we're gonna let a band of Electrum stop us? Do you really think we're gonna let Serving One One stop us? We're still gonna top, and we're not just gonna top. We're gonna destroy the old meta while we're at it, bro. Let's go. It's not just me. It's all of us, man. It's the deck that I'm showing you guys. I'm telling you guys, Pendulum is just the best deck. Plain and damn simple. Pendulum, best deck. Let's go. All right. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the new combos for Pendulums with no Electrum. Because there's a bunch of them that you guys are going to have to know. There's a new game plan in town, and it goes by the name of Summon Crowley. Let's go. This is a new Electrum right over here. Crowley is a new Electrum. And I'm going to show you guys how to use him so well that you can turn a board of, like, two negates into eight negates. And that's not even a joke. You guys are going to see on the video here. So, if you're ready for the video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button let's hit 24 thousand subscribers by the end of the week and if we hit 24 thousand subscribers by monday next week monday not this upcoming monday by next week monday i promise you i will get you guys the most broken zephra who's a zephra fan in the chat let me know comment in the chat if you love zephras comment down below if you guys love zephra but we're gonna be doing a crazy zephra endemian eight negate tutorial and why Zephra, Zephrath is the new Electrum. With that being said, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get straight into the video. Like, yo, I'm not even gonna lie, we're gonna put up eight negates, like, without even trying. Like, this hand, we only have one spell. It's not even a good hand, it's just an average hand. And we're gonna put up eight negates, literally no problem at all. But I want you guys to realize... If you guys haven't seen the deck profile yet, go check out my deck profile first. Obviously, you're going to have to look at the deck profile to understand what I was talking about in it and why you play certain cards. After you check out the profile, I'll put the link in the description if you didn't check it out already. Then come back here, and then we could go look at the uh, how to do the combos. But if you already watched the deck profile, let's go, baby. I'm telling you, it's easy. It's, it's easy. Like, we, we have one spell. We only open one spell, and we're still going to absolutely destroy them. I want to show you guys the new game plan here. You're going to notice something as I'm playing. All right, what do I go into? Crowley. Crowley. A lot of you over there, you be like, oh, how are you getting a scale? What are you doing this? How are you getting that? Bro, everything is searchable in this deck now. You don't even need Electrum. I've been trying to preach this to all of you. What Crowley does, it's the new Electrum. Electrum says, draw one card and get rid of one card in your hand for another scale. That's what it says. <coughs> Electrum says... Get any card from your deck, add it to your hand, and draw a card. Broken, right? It's like a plus one. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. But Crowley is also, dra says draw two. <coughs> Crowley says draw two and put two counters in your cards. You're going to use Institution there to search the Abductor because uh, the Institution is amazing. You get the whole deck searches. Now, look at that. What do you know? But just because of Crowley, a lot of you guys don't utilize this card as you should. We use it uh, for the people that always like to criticize Into the Void. If it's your third card, you can use it. We are playing only one, obviously, and that's totally fine. We get into Mastery. Like, look at this. Like, you can literally do whatever on earth you want here in terms of negates. Like, this is Infinity Negates, to be honest. So, we use Abductor there to search for Jackal. We're going to Pendulum Summon, Double Jackal, Double Mighty Master. You literally search your whole deck for whatever you want. Like, it's just that damn broken. We're going to link all those into an Appaloosa. And we're going to use Magister's Effect to bring out the Mighty Master with the counter on it. So just like that, with a hand that only had one spell to start with, you now notice just how broken it is. Because with Crowley, you have a built-in two spells that you're getting every single time regardless. Now your Servant, your Abductor, your Magister, your Reflection, your Mighty Master, they're all resolving regardless of what your hand is. Hence, you need to play Crowley and base your whole deck around Crowley. It is the new game plan. Just how we used to base the deck on turbo cards for Electrum, the new game plan is to base the whole deck around Crowley to resolve every single card and end on big-ass boards like this one. Now, the next hand. I want to show you guys this one now. 
This one, we open no survey, no magister, no nothing. There's some cards that people don't play. No one plays Abductor. No one plays Reflection. No one plays Institution. Desires. Oh my god, what if I banish my one servant? Oh my god. What if I banish all my jackals? Oh my god. Bro, just listen and learn. We are all in the presence. I'll, I'll admit it here, okay? I'm doing my best to be humble, but, pr but honestly, it's very hard. Because I'm a fucking genius, let me tell you. So, now if you look at this, you're easily going to be able to do whatever you want. I don't know if you guys remember in the profile, I said Mini Jackal is a very good card, right? So there's an option here to get the Mini Jackal with the Institution before you even summon any single a scale to be able to normal summon the, the and get a free jackal but i opted not to get the mini jackal if you guys know what mini jackal i'm talking about in order to do another play which uh in case i desired and drew into some other draw cards but then i ended up doing it anyways so i now search it with institution because you just get a one counter to get it and i see here you get to search for all your negates all your negates are built in into the deck what do you need electrum for to search for them as for servant going to one hey servant didn't go to one Servant went to four, because he had three masteries, bro. Here, we're going to link the Reflection and the Jackal into IP Masquerina. Now, we are going to Pendulum Summon, the Mighty Master, the Jackal, the Mighty Master, and as you see here, another hand with Double Mighty Master, Double Jackal, and IP Masquerina. And Masquerina is turning to the Appaloosa. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bounce back a Jackal and a Mighty Master to our hands, and then link away the three for Appaloosa. That's broken, bro. That's insane. Like, this is with all hands that are just literally average hands with cards people don't even play. And they're just amazing. Abductor is a big catalyst. Institution is a big catalyst. Y'all just aren't playing the right cards. Now, this next one. I want This one's going to blow your minds. This one will open zero spell cards. Zero. Zero spells. This is not a broken hand. This is a bad hand. We have zero spells. What are we going to do? Oh, my God. You guys see the play I did there with Chronograph? Without Electrum, sometimes you can't pendulum summon to the extra monster zone. Hence, use Chronograph to get the free monster to special out the Chrono. What well, do you know? We go into our friend Crowley. Crowley is the new Electrum. It's the new game plan. So every single turn, what, did I, what have I been telling you guys for the last year and a half? Stick to the motherfucking game plan. You gotta stick to it no matter what. The game plan before was make three Electrum. No matter what. No matter what. You guys, there's a, you can see here that there's a plan. The game plan is going to Crowley no matter what. So before it was Electrum, now it's Crowley. So you go into the Crowley, get yourself a free Blue Boy Secret or Knowledge. It don't matter which one you get. You're still drawing regardless. You're still getting the counters on Servant and the Magister regardless. Regardless, bro. You're getting it regardless. You're going to use the Servant effect first. Now use the knowledge to get free counters on the Jackal, right? Now look at this. We're turning no spells into infinity negates. We're going to have Institution there. We're going to link away these into the Appaloosa. We could have even linked the Servant away to make Appaloosa for four, but I prefer to keep Servant and Magisters on the field because they float. So your opponent is going to have to... Uh, another thing people don't realize is the float ability of this deck is insane. With Institution, Magister, Servant, they all get back, they get free scales, everything. You get so much free plus that you're just going to lose out by linking them away for nothing. So I opted to keep the Servant because him Servant being on field equals it in scale. I can bounce it if I want, I can get it back, whatever. We 100% have to get the Abductor. So now we get the Abductor, not to summon this turn, but just to stay there to collect counters. Here you would get the second servant, but obviously you're only playing one, and it's totally fine. So you use Institution to get an Abductor, and now when your opponent is playing spells, you get the free counters on it, and next turn, like I said, it's about the following turn, it's about the whole duel, not just the turn one. So your opponent is going to have to deal with a Mighty Master, a Jackal, an Appaloosa, a Magister bringing out a, a Reflection, a Jackal, a Mighty Master, whatever it may be, when they try to attack into Appaloosa, Magister bring out Reflection. They can't clear this board. But now, after, let's say they somehow use all their cards. I don't know how they're going to do it. They somehow clear Mighty Master. They're somehow going to clear Jackal. They're somehow going to clear Magister bringing out a card. They're somehow going to clear three negates from Appaloosa. Somehow. And they're left with some sorry-ass board of no negates and like two, three random monsters on board. Bro. Magister and Servant are going back to the scales. Abductor's going to have counters to add. Institution's going to add a card in your turn. You have one Oh, and they're going to have to deal Garuda as a hand trap. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. And on top of that, Abductor's going to add a card in your turn. Mighty Master's going to bounce a card back to your turn. So, uh, uh, Institution's going to add a card to your turn. Magister's going to get yourself scale and resolve Magister next turn. You're playing with four cards. That, and then you have like none. It's broken, man. It's broken. Now, I'm going to flash you guys a deck profile super quick in case you guys miss a deck profile. But I've been telling you guys, this deck is insane. 
All those <laughs> ones were literally in a row. And I can't stress enough just how damn broken this deck is. This is the deck profile. Okay, this side deck was used for the regional. Obviously, with the new list, you're going to want a little different of a side deck. But I highly recommend this deck for all pendulum lovers out there. Let's go. Guys, as I said in the beginning of the video, I am working on an unbelievable Zephyr and Demian deck. Zephyrath is the new Electrum, per se. It wasn't that good before, but now, oh yeah, it is damn nice. So if you guys like what you see for this video, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and 24,000 crazy Zephyr and Demian deck coming. Hope you guys like the video. We'll see you next video. Peace!